It's really easy to think that fertility is related to women, that holding a baby in a healthy pregnancy to term is a woman's job, so to speak. And to a certain extent it may be. However, if you as a couple are not yet holding the healthy baby of your dreams in your arms, it's because there is something within the context at hand that needs to be taken care of. So I always, always say fertility is a team sport and the reason for that is that 40% of the reason as to why a couple will take home a healthy baby or not not just conceive is to do with male factor 40% is to do with female factor and 20% is to do with embryonic or other factors so when we want to improve the ability of an embryo to be taken as a healthy pregnancy to term, we need to really work on the things that we actually have some control over. This part might already be too late when it's already in place. You see, a baby at eight weeks gestation already has all its little organs formed, all its little fingerprints. All it does from about eight weeks onwards is grow. Most people sometimes don't even know they're pregnant as a couple by eight weeks. So what happens is that the time to optimize the health of the pregnancy, the health of the baby, isn't when a pregnancy is already in place, it's actually way before a conception even occurs. It typically takes about, women are born with all the eggs that we will ever have, and it typically takes from primordial follicle to ovulatory follicle, a whole 12 months for that egg to mature and develop and go through multiple cycles of transformation to get to the ovulation point. Now, when we talk about optimizing egg quality, that happens in two major stages. One in particular, which is from primary follicle to ovulatory follicle, which is the last four months of, of maturation, is where we can make a huge you know, impact in optimizing the, the quality of the egg, the quality of the, the beginning cells of that embryo. Similarly, and of course, then the previous four months, which, you know, four to longer months, um, then obviously there is a, pr a whole process that goes on there too. So what happens is in that whole period, we've had multiple sperm cycles. Sometimes, you know, when we come to treating couples in the clinic where fact, uh, male factor or sperm factors are a real problem, it can take us multiple sperm cycles to get that sperm to the quality that it needs to be. Even when the sperm is of fantastic quality and we have a situation of, of diminished ovarian reserve or egg quality, for example, we still need to do everything we possibly can to optimize the quality of that sperm because otherwise we are going to continue having more of the same result. You know, I often talk about when we have egg quality issues, with different kinds of sperm, we can still get to the outcome that we want to achieve. So it comes back down to what is the combination of factors. It's not that you're incompatible, so to speak, but certainly if we're not yet as a couple getting to the result that you want, we need to look at both sides of the equation, that 40% male, 40% female, so we can optimize that 20% that is, is regarded, you know, the embryonic or other factors. Taking all of this into consideration, it's not enough to say that fertility is to do with one partner or the other. Even when we have very specific male factor, there might be a situation where we could still optimize female factor and vice versa. So whenever we are dealing with or addressing inability to conceive, inability to keep a healthy pregnancy to term, we must look at the whole picture. And that's why I always talk about fertility being a team sport, is that even if, you know, I was talking to a couple the other week where the male sperm is actually quite good quality on paper, and the woman has been going through a whole lot of investigations and there's a question mark around endom endometriosis. Be that as it may, if we optimize the health, the overall health of the individual, we are going to optimize different aspects of sperm parameters that can indeed make a big difference to the combination of factors that we will then find when we get the egg and the sperm together, especially when there have been multiple failed attempts through different kinds of treatments. Natural conception or IVF or ICSI, 
are going to require that same team effort. And so working together as a couple to optimize your chances combined of taking home a healthy baby is the best way I have seen in doing this work for the last 22 years. I've been doing this since 2001, helping couples overcome infertility and miscarriage, even when other treatments have failed. And that truly is the biggest advantage that you can have as a couple is working together as a team infertility being a team sport. So I hope that helps and I look forward to connecting again very soon. Until next time, bye for now.